All right, so we're back with evaluating functions. Um, let's see what we have here. We've got some weird stuff going on. First of all, we've got our function f of x equals 5x plus 12. Nothing crazy there. This first part says find f of 9. Oh, well, that should be nice and easy. As we mentioned in the last video, we replace the x with parentheses. And in the parentheses is where the input value goes. So 9 goes right there. All right, so this gives me... 45 plus 12 and we get 57. Now remember when it comes to evaluating functions you just plug in the number and you do what you can, right? You don't do anything else with this 9 once you plug it in. Would you plug it in? You multiply, you do whatever the function says and you combine, you simplify, you get 57. You are not solving for anything here. I know we spent so much time before solving equations, but we don't have an equation to solve. We're plugging in something, and we're just doing what it says to do. Even here in part B, part B is not plugging in a number like 9, it's plugging in a variable. So, we replace the x with this input, and the input here is m. So you're just replacing the x with m, and you work this out. Well, this is just 5 times m, so that's 5m plus 12. And then you try to simplify this as best you can. But there's nothing else to do, right? 5m and 12 are not uh, like terms, so it stays just like this. Well, let's look at f of 6k plus 11. Again, you replace the x with parentheses, and make sure the parentheses are spread out far enough so that we can get the 6k plus 11 in there because that is now my input. And yeah, it's pretty simple from here. Multiply, distribute, combine like terms. So here when I, just, when I distribute, I get 30k. 5 times 11 is 55. And then I've got plus 12. And so I can combine these constant terms here at the end. So I have 30k, 55 and 12 will give me 67. So what we're seeing is that we can plug other variable expressions into these functions and get another variable expression. Again, you're not solving anything. There's nothing here that says solve for k or solve for x. It's just replace x with this expression and work it out. Now let's take a look at this next example. So if I give you f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 7, find f of 2x minus 5. So in order for us to find f of 2x minus 5, just as we've seen previously, we're going to take all of these places where I see x, and I'm going to replace those with parentheses. Make sure that you keep in mind there's a square, plus 3 times parentheses and minus 7. And inside these parentheses you're going to plug in this input. So we replace the x's with 2x minus 5. And notice that I'm just replacing the x. I'm not doing anything else with the square. Like the square doesn't go away. The coefficients of 3 and 2, they don't go away. I'm just replacing x with parentheses and I'm plugging in the 2x minus 5 inside there. Well, now we have an algebraic expression to uh, figure out, just to multiply it out. First, let's square this binomial. Now, we've already seen this before. When you square the binomial, you square the first piece, so you get 4x squared. The middle piece is supposed to be the product of these two guys times 2. So the product of 2x and negative 5 is negative 10x times 2 gives me negative... 20x, then you square the constant, so that's plus 25. And if, if you don't like doing that, then you are more than welcome to take 2x minus 5 squared and rewrite that as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. All right, now it's just a matter of distributing. So here I have 8x squared, distribute the 2, and I get 40 
x plus 50. So that's just taking the 2 and multiplying it to each term on the inside. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the 3 over here. Distribute the 3. So we have plus 6x minus 15, and then we bring down that lonely 7 there at the end. So really the big idea that we had was replacing the x with 2x minus 5. The rest of this is just an exercise in you know, working with polynomials, multiplying, distributing, and now combining like terms. So this is my only x squared term, so 8x squared. I have minus 40x plus 6x, and that's it. So that's going to give me negative 34x. And then I have plus 50 minus 15 minus 7. So these guys give me a negative 22. So 50 minus 22 is plus 28. And that's it. Again, there's nothing to solve. You're just plugging in a variable expression into another variable expression and simplifying. But coming up, we're going to see what happens when we have multiple functions at the same time. We're going to talk about what we can do with those guys. So stick around.